Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. That... Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. About myself? I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. What do you wish? I am eager to get this over with. I did. I also said that you didn't need to know more. Why are you asking? I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the Huts. The Huts control everything on Sleheron, and a slave is nothing to them. I was determined not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I stabbed him and escaped the compound. I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid, alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Saira. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued, of course. The Force was strong with me, though I didn't know that at the time. Not until the Jedi told me, that is. I'd rather not discuss it. Perhaps another time. Is there something else you needed? I hope to see you again. Hello again. I trust all is going smoothly. I would prefer not to discuss that. Why? There is no point. Have I asked you about your past? You have odd notions for someone hoping to become a Sith. Let's see. After escaping from Slaheron, I was found by the Jedi. They took me in and trained me, even though I was a bit older than most Padawan. Not really, no. I never progressed beyond Padawan. I had discipline, but no peace. And after my treatment at the hands of the Huts, there was little room in me for the ways of the Jedi. You sound much like someone I know. Yes, well, I imagine I am not unique. Things very easily could have been very different for me. I wanted to use the Force to free the other slaves I knew, to fight for what I knew was right. The Jedi restrained me until I couldn't stand it anymore. They claim that Darkseid is evil, but that isn't so. 
Sometimes anger and hatred are so deserved and right. Sometimes things change because of it. Any failure to get the results I want is due to a lack of power on my part. That can change in time. As a Sith, my metal is tested far more than when I was a Padawan. I know this may sound strange, but only my compassion stands in my way now. Once that is gone, let the slavers beware. I... yes, of course, I, I mean losing my compassion, as in holding back. But enough of that. I have talked about myself too much. Surely you are tired of it. Come back soon, my friend. Greetings, my friend. <laughs> I do rather enjoy saying that. So, you return to us with the lightsaber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? Good. The last part of your test will now commence. Here, you will learn the lesson of competition. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. One must always be moving forward. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or die, mercy is irrelevant. So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with, for no other reason than to prove you are superior and without mercy. Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here, my own apprentice. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die and someone more talented to take your place. No. It is time for you to die, Master. My pupil stands with me. Oh, is this true, young one? You wish to join Euthura in her foolish scheme? Do you hear that, my Master? That is the sound of a new leader rising to replace you. So the time has come, has it? You both wish to stand against a Sith Master and perish, do you? Then so be it! And a new order is brought to the Academy. Excellent. While I do like you, truly, I'm afraid I'm not the type to share power with anyone. Even you. If only I could believe you. Let's get this over with. Quickly. Oh, stop. I yield. You are too strong for me. I was a fool to think otherwise. I am. I suppose I am. Something tells me that you are not like the other students. I don't know why that is. I was right the first time back at the cantina, wasn't I? There is something different about you. More so than I even suspected. I didn't think you were here to train. Not really. I should have realized that sooner. So what happens now? Will you show me mercy? Will you just let me leave? I had no choice. You reminded me too much of a time before I became a Sith. I didn't want to think about that. I suppose you could be right. All the things I wanted to do, all the wrongs I wanted to right, I haven't done any of it. They just get farther and farther from my mind. All I've cared about is power and myself. This isn't the person I was. You're right. Maybe what I needed most was peace after all. The Jedi tried to show me that. I don't know if I can ever go back to them, but my place isn't here. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that. You have a destiny, my friend, and I wish you well on your way to it. May the Force be with you.